Hey guys, did you miss me? Does this face look familiar? Let's look at my wantable unboxing. I switched up, I canceled my accessories, wantable subscription, and picked up the makeup. I just thought I'd give it a try for four months, see what I thought, because you can never have too much makeup. At least, I don't think you can. And as always, you get the little thing inside. It tells you who inspected it, and it's specially packaged for um, Yolanda Monique. So you get this little package and it tells you at the bottom what you're getting and then on the side, inside of it, it tells you what your, I don't want you guys to know where I live, not that I don't trust you or anything, but it tells you your loves, your likes, your dislikes and for those of you who want to know, my loves are complexion products, warm, cool eyeshadows, lip color and tools. My likes are brows, my dislikes are eyeliners, lash products, highlighters, blushes, bronzers, and nail polish. And I did leave them a comment and it said, um, if at all possible could I try Tarina Tarantino. And I have oily skin with a warm golden undertone. I look forward to seeing what you'll give me. Thanks. And Kyla was my stylist. And I just look, look, she is so cute to have her photo on there. So you can see who your stylist is. We didn't have any Torina Tarantino products available that match your preference. But I selected a few items that will be gorgeous with your complexion. And a primer that helps shadows stay in place on oily lids. So let's see what I have. The lipstick is Be Light uh, from Pout Shout Lipstick. Uh, I'm sorry, I opened this without even showing you the packaging. Um, this is what it looks like. It's Pout Shout Lipstick. Never heard of this brand before, but this is what it looks like. And the shade is Be Lightful Cream. Oh, it's a nude. And let's see. That's four. Oh, it's a nice looking nude. You know, you can always use a lip liner to get it to blend in with you and look good. So that's a nice lipstick. The next thing, since she, uh, it's the green package, Vincent Longo Pearl X Shadow Ombre Pearl. And the color is Etheria. This is what the package, it's got shadow all over it. So I have a feeling this shadow is not very, I don't know. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder what it color it's going to be. They're all gold, but it's depending on what part of the shadow you swatch. The <clears throat> the one at the very top is the top part of it with the gold in it. The middle one it has the little yellow, and then the bottom one has the green. So depending on where you get your shadow from on this palette will determine whether your gold has brown or it has yellow or green. The next thing, which I knew... <laughs> I had a feeling when I put I like brow products I was going to get a brow because I don't have a wide variety of choices but I also really need some brow products. This is from Deuce Cosmetics. It's their brow filler pencil. It's number 616 and that's all it says. This is what it looks like. It has a wooden pencil top and this. okay the, the lead broke on it. It's very stiff, I can tell you that, and the lead broke. So it's that brown right there, and you can see the lead broke before I could finish trying it in. So this is going to be interesting. And then it has, I wouldn't exactly call it a comb or a brush, but it's, see how that looks? But I'll definitely try it. And then the last thing is from Frankie Rose, and it says, I. I promise. No, seriously, it says I promise. It is an eye primer and it's in dark. Cute packaging. And that's what it looks like. Feels really smooth. It almost feels like a concealer. I guess I'm used to using my MAC Prep and Prime. It's right here. <clears throat> so. And I did tell her I had oily skin, so 
They're saying that the total value of my box was $84 and with my discount from my last two boxes, I only paid $32. I'm actually pretty impressed with this box. I I got a lot of things that I really wanted. I wanted another brow product. I have an eyelid primer. Um, I really wanted more eyeshadows, but I, I can't complain about that. I have an interesting dual chrome eyeshadow that can be used as a highlighter or inner corner light and then a neutral lipstick so definitely check out Wantable you may find something that you're interested in whether it be their makeup collection their intimates collection or their accessories collection um, let me know what you think and I will check you guys out later